In this video, we are going to discuss about reaction of acids and bases with metal. For example, you have zinc metal and hydrochloric acid. If these two react, what happens is the question. Similarly, I have zinc and sodium hydroxide, which is a base. What happens when zinc reacts with sodium hydroxide? We are going to discuss this. In addition, we are going to discuss about what happens in general when metal reacts with an acid or when a metal reacts with a base. Okay, this video is so that you understand the concept well. Let us first start with reaction of acids with metals. Manke acids are good hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and so on. Right? You have phosphoric acid, you have acetic acid, many other acids we have. And metals are gane, man silver flow general ga chusevi, zinc, magnesium, sodium elaga. Right? And there are many other metals. In general, what happens is when acids react with metals, they form a salt and hydrogen gas. Not all metals react with acids. Please note this. Manaki gold on the platinum on the these may not react with acids. Okay, what in noble metals and tangada, they don't really participate in reaction with acids. But majority of the metals react with acids to produce a salt and hydrogen gas. Salt and gana sodium chloride, salt tells kada, common salt and tom. And taste cause food low artham, right? Adokate salt kazi. When I say salt, there are many salts. For example, if you are using zinc as the metal. Then the salt is going to be formed is zinc metallic salt. Okay. Right. Sodium whatever condi, sodium metal based salts form out there. And you have hydrogen gas as the product. Right. It means metal plus acid gives you salt that is metallic salt, whatever metal you have used here, and then hydrogen gas. Right. Now I have a question. What happens when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to zinc? Zinc is a metal, right? It got shiny, shiny particles can this nigga that. That is what is zinc. And you have hydrochloric acid. When these two react, what happens? When these two are mixed, hydrochloric acid and zinc are mixed, a chemical reaction takes place to form zinc chloride. And hydrogen gas. It could zinc chloride and a day on the salt. Okay. So you can write zinc that is Zn plus 2 HCl giving rise to Zn Cl2 and H2. H2 is a gas, right? HCl is in aqueous form, meaning it is mixed in water. Zinc is a solid and Zn. Cl2 that is zinc chloride, this is also in aqueous form, right? Means it is dissolved in the water. HCl and HCl and dilute hydrochloric acid, right? It means a lot of water is there, that's why we say it is aqueous. Understood? The reaction here is exothermic. Please note this. When you add HCl to zinc, we are getting zinc chloride as the salt and hydrogen gas. Along with that, we have some heat getting released. That's why this reaction is called exothermic reaction. And if you are conducting this experiment in a, uh, in a test tube, the test tube is going to be heated because of the heat released during the reaction. That's why this reaction is called exothermic reaction. Okay. Now the question is how to perform this experiment. If you want to perform this experiment in lab, what do we require? The materials required are we need test tube, 
where we'll be conducting the experiment and we need zinc granules this is one of the reactants and dilute hydrochloric acid this is another reactant and we need a cork with one hole punched into it and we need a delivery tube delivery tube enduku manaki hydrogen gas vastundan cheppam kada we want to pass that hydrogen gas outside the test tube dan kosam delivery tube and we need a glass trough okay glass trough lo we pour some soap water and then we need a burning candle okay now what you do is we'll be fitting the experimental setup as shown here you have a test tube and we are fitting a cork to it and then from that cork hole we are fitting the delivery tube and we have already filled soap water in the trough glass trough and made sure that this delivery tube ends in the soap water okay now once this fitting is done what we do is we are going to take 10 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid in this test tube okay and then add few zinc granules to it and then then you have to close this cork okay once you have this hydrochloric acid and zinc coming into contact the reaction starts right once the reaction starts you have zncl2 getting formed that dissolved in the water around or the dilute hcl around and you have hydrogen gas coming out right that hydrogen gas comes out of this delivery tube okay and it it enters the soap water right when zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid it forms zncl2 zinc chloride salt that is dissolved in water within the hydrochloric acid dilute hydrochloric acid and you have hydrogen gas which passes through the soap water to form bubbles mano soap water ni iskuni if you pass some air then automatically man bubbles vastai right alage hydrogen gas vastundi then it forms bubbles these bubbles are coming out right now you want to test whether the gas coming out is hydrogen gas or not or you want to see whether the reaction is happening or not then what you can do is the soap bubbles are coming out right you will bring a hydrogen you will bring a burning candle close to those bubbles if you keep a burning candle near the soap bubble the soap bubble breaks to make a pop sound ante hydrogen gas edaithe aa bubble lo undo adi bubble break avadam dwara hydrogen gas is going to react with the flame you have burning candle edaithe undo danto react avutundi ante enti the hydrogen gas is burning and while it is burning it will make pop sound please note this advainda when this hydrogen gas comes out of this soap bub soap water it is coming as soap bubbles now what we are doing we are using candle burning candle to interfere with those bubbles manam eppudaithe candle lanti dani bubble degiri teesukostamo bubble breaks easily right once bubble breaks hydrogen gas comes out and it burns to make pop sound this is one way to test for example you are running some experiment you don't know which gas is coming out adi hydrogen gas ah ant telusukovalante what we do is we'll use fire right fire ganta pop sound ochind ankonde you can say that this is hydrogen gas ala kakanda let's say some carbon dioxide gas is coming out of the reaction ee particular reaction lo kadu vere reaction lo then when you bring this burning candle carbon dioxide em chestadi it doesn't burn right candle na arpe dani try chestadi you know this right ఫైర్ ఎక్స్టింగ్యూషర్స్ ఉంటాయి కదా మనం ఫైర్ని కంట్రోల్ చేయడానికి వాడే డివైజెస్ వాటిలో కార్బన్ డైఆక్సైడ్ గ్యాస్ ఉంటాయి రైట్ మీన్స్ కార్బన్ డైఆక్సైడ్ గ్యాస్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు పుట్ ఆఫ్ ద బర్నింగ్ ఫ్లేమ్ మనం ఎప్పుడైతే ఈ క్యాండిల్ని తీసుకొచ్చామో పాప్ సౌండ్ వచ్చింది అనుకోండి యూ సే దాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ హైడ్రోజన్ గ్యాస్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ అండ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ జరుగుతుంది అందులో ఏ గ్యాస్ వస్తుందో మనకు తెలియదు దెన్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ సివో టూ ఈజ్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ దెన్ బర్నింగ్ క్యాండిల్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు you know 
ఏమవుతుంది ఫ్లేమ్ అనేది ఏదైతే ఉందో అది ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు పుట్ అవుట్ బై ద గ్యాస్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ రైట్ సో దట్స్ వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు నోట్ నౌ నాట్ ఓన్లీ దిస్ రియాక్షన్ వీ క్యాన్ లుక్ ఎట్ అదర్ రియాక్షన్స్ ఆల్సో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ వెన్ డైల్యూట్ సల్ఫ్యూరిక్ యాసిడ్ ఈస్ యాడెడ్ టు జింక్ యాజ్ యాజ్ విత్ ద హెచ్సిఎల్ ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ ఆల్సో ద కెమికల్ రియాక్షన్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ద కెమికల్ రియాక్షన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ టు ఫామ్ జింక్ సల్ఫేట్ ఈ పర్టికులర్ కేసులో సాల్ట్ ఏంటి జింక్ సల్ఫేట్ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ హైడ్రోజన్ గ్యాస్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ రైట్ కెమికల్ ఈక్వేషన్ రాస్తే కనుక ఏమవుతుంది జెడ్ ఎన్ ప్లస్ హెచ్ టూ ఎస్ఓ ఫోర్ దిస్ ఈస్ సల్ఫ్యూరిక్ యాసిడ్ గివింగ్ రైస్ టు జెడ్ ఎన్ ఎస్ఓ ఫోర్ దట్ ఈస్ జింక్ సల్ఫేట్ ప్లస్ హైడ్రోజన్ గ్యాస్ జింక్ సల్ఫేట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో డిజాల్వ్డ్ ఇన్ వాటర్ దట్స్ వై ఇట్ ఈస్ అక్వర్స్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో అక్వర్స్ బికాస్ డైల్యూట్ సల్ఫ్యూరిక్ యాసిడ్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు యూస్ and zinc is solid right and this is also exothermic it is going to release heat let's look at another reaction what happens when dilute nitric acid is added to zinc here also the chemical reaction happens to form zinc nitrate please note this and hydrogen gas man different acids varna appudu different zinc salts vastai please note this right and in all these reactions hydrogen gas is a common thing right so reaction if you write the chemical equation for this reaction you have zn plus 2hno3 giving rise to zn no3 twice it is read as zn no3 twice plus h2 and h2 is a gas and it is also going to release heat that's why you can say plus q understood let us now learn about reaction of bases with metals bases angane manaki em gurtu vaste sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide potassium hydroxide right inka you have different bases and metals angane you have sodium magnesium zinc iron and many more aluminum ila chaala metals untai right now the question is what happens when metals interact with bases Several metals react with bases to produce a salt and hydrogen gas. Acids case lo koda, when metals react with acids, they produce a salt and hydrogen gas. Right? Similar ga, ikada, when bases interact with metals, you get a salt and hydrogen gas. Salt and take da, common salt NaCl, matra me kaadu. ఏ మెటల్ అయితే రియాక్షన్లో పార్టిసిపేట్ చేస్తుందో ఆ మెటల్కి సంబంధించిన సాల్ట్ ఫామ్ గట్ ఇట్ సో వీ కెన్ రైట్ ద ఈక్వేషన్ యాజ్ మెటల్ ప్లస్ బేస్ గివింగ్ రైస్ టు సాల్ట్ ప్లస్ హైడ్రోజన్ గ్యాస్ ఓకే నౌ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎ క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ వెన్ సోడియం హైడ్రాక్సైడ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎన్ఏఓహెచ్ reacts with zinc or added to zinc for example i have taken few particles of zinc in a beaker and poured little amount of sodium hydroxide into it what happens a chemical reaction takes place to form sodium zincate and hydrogen gas sodium zincate anedi ikkada salt please note this in chemical equation rasa em ankonde you can write this way zinc plus 2 naoh giving rise to sodium zincate that is na2 zno2 plus h2 h2 anedi gas okay this reaction is endothermic reaction acids lo case chuste ganaka manaki reaction is exothermic akkada heat liberate avutundi reaction jaragadam dwara right heat is getting released బట్ ఇక్కడ ఏంటి ఎండోథర్మిక్ అనేసరికి యూ హ్యావ్ టు సప్లై సమ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ హీట్ ఆ హీట్ సప్లై అనేది సరౌండింగ్ అట్మాస్ఫియర్ నుంచి జరగచ్చు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూ ఆర్ కండక్టింగ్ దిస్ సమ్ రియాక్షన్ లెట్ సే అట్ ఫార్టీ డిగ్రీ సెంటీగ్రేడ్ రూమ్ టెంపరేచర్ ఆ రోజు ఫార్టీ డిగ్రీస్ ఉంది అనుకున్నాం సమ్ రియాక్షన్ కెన్ హ్యాపెన్ ఓకే అదర్వైజ్ యూ మే హ్యావ్ టు సప్లై రైట్ దట్స్ 
what is called endothermic reaction you have to supply some amount of heat such that the reaction happens e particular case so this is an endothermic reaction okay now the question is how to perform this experiment if you want to conduct this experiment okay addition of zinc and sodium hydroxide then you have a reaction that leading to forming sodium zincate and hydrogen gas if you want to perform this experiment what you need you need a test tube where you will be having sodium hydroxide and adding some amount of zinc right zinc granules are required sodium hydroxide solution is required please note that in the case of acids it was dilute acid but here this has to be concentrated okay if you are conducting this experiment in the lab be careful handling with concentrated solutions is not uh, easy don't take it easy you, you take required precautions all the precautionary measures such that you don't get hurt okay and you need a cork with one hole in it and you need a delivery tube that takes the hydrogen gas that in, that is formed out of the reaction vessel and you need a glass trough and soap water that has to be filled in the glass glass trough and you need a burning candle to test whether the gas coming out is hydrogen gas or not and we need a burner this is extra the burner enduku kavali manaki because we have to supply some amount of heat right this reaction is an endothermic reaction we have to supply some amount of heat that's why we need a burner so when you set it up it looks like this you have NaOH poured into it and zinc granules are there and you have cork fitted to the test tube and you have a delivery tube which takes the hydrogen gas if the gas comes out that gas goes into the soap water and then leaves as soap bubbles okay but this reaction is not going to happen as is because i said it is an endothermic reaction it may or may not happen depending upon the room temperature if room temperature is high and if it is able to supply the amount of heat required for this reaction to happen it will happen otherwise no right so to address that issue we need a burner and start heating it once you start heating it at some level the hydrogen gas starts coming out right to conduct this experiment first we are going to take 10 ml of concentrated sodium hydroxide in this test tube and then pour your granules of zinc into it and then start heating then slowly this gas will come out and you have soap bubbles coming out right so when you take 10 ml of concentrated naoh in test tube and add few granules to it zinc granules to it the reaction happens when when you supply the heat okay then reaction happens so that zn reacts with naoh to form sodium zincate and hydrogen gas this hydrogen gas passes through soap water to form bubbles and once the bubbles are coming out for sake of fun you can bring this candle so if you keep a burning candle near to the soap bubble it makes a pop sound because soap bubble breaks and hydrogen gas gets burnt and when hydrogen gas burns it makes pop sound understood 